If I'm scared of something and keep thinking about it, will it manifest in my experience? Yes. It will manifest in your experience, but the truth is, should you have to worry about it, right? Because worrying about it manifesting your experience is not really that important. Whatever you give your attention to becomes more a part of your experience, and I'll tell you this. And you might have heard this in my other meetups, or you heard me say it somewhere, somewhere else, but I had this phobia of an animal being under my bed in the middle of the night. I was convinced that an animal snuck its way into my room and went under my bed and was hiding there. Now, it did not matter that it was not true. What mattered is that I gave it so much of my attention that it might as well have been true. And that's where I learned the power of your focus, the power of your own belief. If you focus on something, it becomes more a part of your experience. And so you could think about the ghost of your grandmother and be worried about it. And whether your grandmother is haunting you or not, uh, you will have the experience of it. And so whatever you give your attention to becomes a part of your experience. And then now you're experiencing the discomfort from that. Similarly, if something negative happens and you haven't been one worrying about it until it happens and two, when it happens, you're not worried about it in the, in the, onset of it when it's occurring, then it's it's going to have far less impact on your life than um, than if you focused on it. People come to our meetups and they're worried about their negative thoughts. They say, oh, I'm thinking negative thoughts, I'm thinking negative thoughts, and and, and, and I'm going to be attracting negative things. i got to stop this, i got to stop this, and they get worried about it. And I want to tell them, don't, don't worry about it. And I'm not saying don't worry about it because it's not true in that sense. I'm, I'm saying don't worry about it because worrying about it doesn't help. It doesn't make your experience better, and even if something negative happens, if you are in the right frame of mind, it's to your benefit. So what is the point of worry? What is the point of worrying about how much you're thinking about negative thoughts? Now, the saving grace is this, okay? And if you've been trying to create anything, you know this is true. When you think something, it doesn't necessarily happen right there, right there. You have the saving grace of time. People are worried, oh, I want to attract what I want and it's taking too much time, but who cares? It's really good that when you think about something negative, it doesn't happen right away. It's very good that it takes time for something to happen. So what you want to be concerned about is not the thoughts that you have at any given moment, but the aggregate. What is the balance of your thoughts over a given time? Now, if, if you've been thinking negative thoughts for, for the past month, every day on, on and on and on for the past month, am I going to sit here in front of you and tell you, no, you're not going to be creating that in your experience to make you feel better? No, of course not. If you think about something long enough, and a month is long enough to think about something, well, now your experience is going to be soured because of it. But if you're thinking about something for a day, if you're thinking about something every so often, if every once in a while something pops up in your mind that you can get rid of and that you're worried about, it could be your bills, it could be whatever it is, if it happens every so often, even if it happens every day but not all the time during the day, well, you don't really have to worry about it. Because if you can't create something, a car or a lever or a dream job, whatever it is, out of the blue in a second, then you certainly don't have to worry about thinking negative and something popping out of the blue.